The other day I drove just south of 40 minutes one way to buy a game in a GameStop in a place I've never been to and never heard of. I was so jittery and excited. I finally got it. It was in my hands. I tore off the shrink wrap. Yes, this is a true story. I got a game at GameStop with a shrink on it. Opened the box and I was greeted with the game. Nothing else. Just the cut and some warranty information on the back of the sleeve. It was kind of disappointing, especially when you put it into perspective, which I haven't yet. The game I'm talking about is Katamari Damacy Reroll for the Switch, a remaster of Katamari Damacy for the PS2. As you can see, the original. Oh shit. As you can see, the original came with this absolute beast of an instruction book with information on everything from how to move to how to breathe. I mean, if you could do it, it's in the instruction. The Switch version has nothing, not even a digital instruction booklet. Remastered? More like rebastered. I want my damn money back. Oh wait, no I don't. Yeah, not only is this a remaster, it's also a limited physical release. This game came out on December 7th, 2018 and retailed at $30 and this is the price it's at now. Yeah, it's just a box with a cartridge. Sure, it doesn't take up space on your SD card, but for the extra 30 bucks you're spending, you can get a 128 gigabyte SD card. It's bullshit. In fact, out of the four Switch games I have, all of which I bought new, only one had an instruction booklet, and it was sort of some kind of special edition. When I saw it came with a travel guide, I thought they were talking about like a map or some sort of planner or something. Nope, it's just an instruction booklet with nicer binding. It's cool and all, and I'm happy to have it, but 10 years prior, you would have gotten practically the same thing day one till the day the game stopped printing pro bono. The Binding of Isaac also comes with instructions, but only for first run copies, so if you buy the game today, tough titties pal, I can pull any game out of my DS game collection and no matter what, no matter how shitty the game, no matter how low budget the game, it has an instruction booklet without fail. Maybe Switch games aren't a fair analogy because Switch cards cost like 50,000 fucking dollars to produce, so corners have to be cut at every turn, but even with Xbone games, you're lucky to get the warranty and throw on a card. Rail replay, 30 games, no booklet. At least that one had digital instructions, but still, it would have been nice to have the controls or something for each game or each emulator, you know, something. You're probably wondering why I'm even bitching about instruction booklets. I mean, nobody ever uses them with the internet and all, and it's probably cheaper just to, you know, not have them. While I'll admit that I've never used an instruction booklet to instruct myself on how to play the game. Why read when you can just mash buttons till you hit the end credits? But they are fun to look at. It's like a little program or a playbill for the game you're playing. They're just really cool. Especially if you're a fan of the game. It was also a valid reason to buy a game new. Finding used copies of games that came with instruction booklets wasn't always the easiest task. I remember my dad would only buy games complete, box and instructions or bust. Except for that Katamari game of course, because I had to use that specific one as a reference. And it's hard to blame him. Instructions used to be part of what made buying a game special. It felt like a complete product with all the trimmings. And now you just get the product without the trimmings. Why the fuck did I write that? Again, it sounds bitchy, but I find it weird that in the age of digital shit, companies like GameStop aren't pushing publishers for more incentives like instruction booklets to get people to go to the store and buy games and, you know, extra shit they need to sell. If booklets were GameStop exclusives, I know where I would buy all my games. Maybe I'm just bitching about this because I have too much time on my hands and because my life is so depressing that little things like instruction booklets becoming extinct prompts me to make a video essay for a channel that gets no views. <laughs> Get it? He's making fun of himself and people don't usually do that and that's what makes it funny. <laughs> did, did he just make fun of people that thought his joke was funny? But I still hope the humble instruction manual does make a comeback in one way or another for nostalgia or something. I don't know. Just bring it back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now I know what you guys are thinking. Secret Passage Productions, why are you ripping off YouTube creator ABC and using the video essay drawing style? I don't know, does it have a name? I don't even care. Well, I thought this video would be more suited for this kind of style. This isn't something new, this isn't something that's going to be in every video, definitely not reviews, but I just thought it made sense for this. I didn't see how live action segments could play in and I didn't want to just slap gameplay on screen, so I thought it would be nice, but you guys can't have nice things, can you? No, you cannot. But yeah, the next video should have live action and, you know, relevant information on the screen. No, this isn't, this isn't the new normal, so don't freak out. I, no, I said, I said don't freak out. Dude, dude, come down, come down. No, I'm gonna have to call the cops. I'm gonna have to call the cops.